Hope guys her rules, and I haven't done one of these WWE uh, pay-per-view predictions in a while, but I'm going to start over right now, 2019, with the WWE Extreme Rules pay-per-view. So here we go, episode 1,498, we're two episodes away from episode 1,500. I don't know what I'm going to do for the special 1,500, but I'll find out something. But anyways, here we go. Not so extreme rules, basically, like last year. So first matchup is Seth Rollins versus, with Becky Lynch versus Baron Corbin Lacey Evans. Winners take all match. So if Baron Corbin pins Seth Rollins, uh, Baron Corbin wins the Universal title, and so does Lacey Evans wins the Raw Women's title. But if Becky Lynch, if Lacey Evans pins Becky Lynch, then Lacey Evans gets the Raw Women's Championship, and then Baron Corbin gets the Universal Championship. But I don't think that's going to happen, so I think Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch are going to pick up the win, and they're going to retain, and they're going to have a live celebration but we're not going to have that because uh, we're not going to have that Edge and Leah thing again but uh, everybody wants it I, I think some people do um, so uh, now we're going to continue on with the show Kofi Kingston versus Samoa Joe these are not in order by the way I don't know what order they're going to be in but uh, Kofi Kingston versus Samoa Joe uh, for the WWE Championship I think Samoa Joe it's his time he's going to win the WWE Championship Hooker by Kofi he's going to win it that's what I think then we have uh, the oh yeah we have the Undertaker and Roman Reigns versus Shane McMahon and Drew McIntyre on a no holds bar match. Uh, I think that Shane McMahon and Drew McIntyre is gonna win. I think Shane McMahon is gonna pin the Undertaker. So just so it makes Roman Reigns look strong, I guess, where he's not being pinned at all like he did on Raw. Um, so that rhymed, but um, not intentionally. Didn't mean to. Mm, yeah. But Shane and Drew McIntyre are going to win. And then we got the last man standing match of Bobby Lashley versus Braun Strowman. And I think Braun Strowman is going to win even though he says he had some minor injuries or whatever. But I think Braun Strowman is going to win and beat Bobby Lashley in this last man standing match. Um, unless Bobby Lashley gets help, that is. But I think Braun Strowman is going to win. Uh, so two, so we got uh, Bailey versus Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross for WWE SmackDown Live Women's Championship. Um... So it's a handicap match two on one. So I think I think Nikki Cross is actually going to pin Bailey and become the SmackDown Live Women's uh, uh, SmackDown Live um, champ, uh, Women's Champion. And I think Lux Wilson is not going to be so happy about that. And then we're going to find the other feud with Crazy Nikki Cross versus like the Blizz with Bailey in between. I guess something like that. And then we're going to have a triple threat match in the next pay per view. I think so. Um, so then we have Daniel Bryan. And Rowan or Eric Rowan, whatever, versus the New Day of Xavier Woods and Big E versus Otis and Tucker of the Heavy Machinery for the WWE SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. And I think Otis and Tucker are going to win this match and become the new WWE World Tag Team Champions of SmackDown Live. So I think they're going to win the WWE SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. And then we have, that's a triple threat uh, tag team match, by the way. Um, then we have the United States Championship matchup of Ricochet versus AJ Styles. And I think he's going to have Luke Gals and Carlson, so the whole club out there. Or maybe part of it, whatever. But uh, I think AJ Styles is going to win with um, with Luke Gals and Carlson and getting some distractions on there. Unless Ricochet does, defies all odds and uh, and wins. Um, and AJ, I think, on, on, if not, I think AJ Styles is going to win the United States Championship um, for, like, I think, the third time, right? Um, I forget. Uh, so then we have, leaving the comments below if it was the second or third time he's going to win it, if he does or not. Um, so then we have Aleister Black and who was knocking on his door. It was supposed to be either Randy Orton or Cesaro. And they said they were going to push Cesaro, and I thought it would be Randy Orton because Randy Orton would be an easy person to, like, Aleister Black versus Randy Orton. It's a pretty good storyline, but it's had Cesaro. So Cesaro, he's not going to win because all these problems with stuff you don't make Aleister Black lose. I think Aleister Black's going to win. Um, this match should be a good match, but there's nothing really the point of it. It's just, uh, have a match, just have a match. And then we have, uh, or just to build up a character, I don't know. Either one. Um, so then we have the, the WWE Raw Tag Team Championship matchup on the line. Uh, their Tag Team Championships on the line. The, the rival of Scott Dawson and Dash Ryder, where the hell they've been, versus, uh, Jimmy and Juice, where the hell they've been. Where's this feud has built up of nothing? Unless it was that eight-man tag team match that I didn't really watch. Um, so, uh, so then we have, G I'm gonna say Jimmy and Jey Uso win these Raw Tag Team Championships because they like to bury their rival Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson. They like to bury bury him anyways. So then we have the Cruiserweight Championship matchup with Drew Gulak versus Tony Nese. 
three match from the one pay per view they were in. Uh, what pay per view was that? Oh man, uh, that was a good match too. Well, I didn't see it was on the kickoff show, which shouldn't have been on a kickoff show. It was like a triple threat match with uh, Kurosawa in there or whatever. So I think Tony Nese is going to win, um, and he's going to re regain his cruiserweight championship. He's going to get it back. I think Drew Gulak, um, if, uh, I think he's going to be mad and have a presentation, PowerPoint, and just continue the feud or something. And I think uh, they're going to have another match. But I think Drew Gulak, even though there's no rematches anymore, no rematch clause, but, you know, they always, that's a lie. They always find a way to give them a rematch with, like, a uh, number of championship match, and then the one person that lost that match gets to have the championship rematch again. So there we go. Tony Neeson's going to win. I think he's going to win back the Cruiserweight Championship matchup. And this has been my WWE Extreme Rules pay-per-view predictions video of episode 1498. And if you like this video, leave a comment of what you think is going to happen at this pay-per-view because it's not so Extreme Rules, but it's Extreme Rules nonetheless. And stay tuned and subscribe for more Hogan Rules. Bye, guys. Bye, bye, bye.